This is my journey to God and some of the story of what he has done in my life. I have three brothers and three sisters. I'm unsure how many years I went to church or how old I was when I first went, but I do know I was christened and went to St David's Church of England. I have four children and about and about 14 years ago, I was in a relationship I didn't want to be in anymore. So one evening, I decided to pray. I had never done this before. In 2008, I prayed to God to help in my personal situation. It made me feel relieved and grateful that I wasn't alone through it all. In prayer, was the prayer was, Dear God, I know marriage is supposed to be for ritual poor and in sickness and in health, but I can't do this anymore. Please let something happen so I can get out of this situation. A few days later, a situation happened which was worse than usual and the police and ambulance were called and my kids didn't want to stay in the house because they were scared. And I thought this was my chance that God has given me to get out. So I took the kids and my, to my sisters for a couple of days, but my sister's husband was dying of cancer. So I asked her to write me a letter to say we couldn't live there any longer. We couldn't return home so I went to the housing and declared homeless. We were put in a room in this house on the Bumby Road then we moved to temporary accommodation in Laderwood. We all, all we had was some clothes and my kids medication. Praying to God helped me because I didn't feel afraid anymore and I felt calm and not worried about not having nothing. The social worker came out the next day and I told her we didn't even have a cup for my kids to drink out of for water. When, uh, when she went, I took the kids to the local park and when we got back, there was a whole pile of stuff in our porch, cups, plates, saucepans, quilts, quilt covers, kettles and other things. It was like Christmas. I only had a tiny bit of money as everything was in my ex-husband's name, so I had to claim money in my own name, which was going to take a few weeks for interviews, etc. But money ran pr out pretty quickly. I went to the shops and I thought I'd get a loaf of bread so the kids could have some toast. I had a pound left and didn't know why but decided to have a scratch card. I've never bought one before and I don't know why I decided to buy one when, but when I scratched it I won £100 so we got lots of shopping. I phoned up the kids school and explained why they wasn't there. The kids were at West Stephen Kings Norton Boys. They decided to have a meeting with each other and supplied my kids with bus passes and teachers even donated us stuff like TVs and other things. The schools were concerned because we had to catch two buses to get the kids to school and often leaving at 6.30 in the morning had to get them there for 9am and they wasn't happy about it. I had to do my eyes injections on the bus sometimes. There was no four bedroom houses around so the social worker found us a private house in Sturchley which we are now and have been in for 12 years. I finally moved Mariah to Sturchley school where lots of teachers were willing to learn how to do Mariah's injections and was easy to get to go to if she had a low or any other problems. From there we met a person who told us about a local, cl local club at Sturchley Church called Rock Solid Kids. I started taking Mariah and decided after a couple of weeks to go to church and have been ever since. My first experience with risk was when I was taking Mariah many years ago. They were the team members like Linda, Liz Brown and Alicia, Tony's daughter. They were all really friendly. Lee, Vicky, Gary and Jill made me feel welcome and helped me on my journey and Bernadette also did. Gary also helped with a lot of my anxiety. It was really bad by getting me involved with stuff in the church. I remember saying the prayer a good few years ago. I don't remember exactly how long it was. And I have changed to be more giving and considerate of other people's situations after I accepted Jesus as the Lord of my life. The first time I was filled with the Holy Spirit was when I was volunteering at Limitless Festival and we had a Holy Spirit evening just worshipping the Lord and I felt very emotional but also also very most connected with God than I've ever felt before. I did get teary in the moment as I connected with God and allowed him to fill my heart. I now like to give more and help people. I got involved in the welcome team, helped in the CAF, and then after a while took over the running of the CAF. I was in charge of catering for events, helped with cooking for Messy Church and clubs like Risk. I also helped with Risk and Toggler groups sometimes. 
I now help with, with the youth team and go to Connect Nights and I've just finished the Alpha course. I am now publicly declaring my decision to give my life to God today because I feel when I prayed, God answered my prayer and then stayed with us, providing us with things when we needed it. Matthew 6.34 says, So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's troubles is enough for today. I like this Bible verse because we, when we had nothing, I didn't worry about what would happen day to day, only what was happening on that day. To me, Jesus is someone who is constantly there for me and is there to support me when I am in troubles. He brings me peace and comfort. I'm unsure how I will describe him other than someone who I can turn to when I'm in need and someone who is giving me support in life. So I would describe our relationship as close. So this is my story and this is my testimony and this is why I am getting baptised today.